So with freeform landing on the iPad in 16.2, I thought it would be useful to just have a quick look and an overview and a play around with some of the tools that you can use in the classroom with your students. So let's jump into the freeform app. See, so I've already started a few different decks here of things that you can do. And it really is just a real simple application, jump in and play around. But the power of this, I think, in the classroom is going to be really, really cool. So just on this homepage here, you can see that I've got the ability to start a new board. I can change the view of the board, sorting in, in different ways, use groups in order to sort things, which I think is going to be really useful, um, certainly if you are uh, doing things with different groups of students, if you teach multiple classes, etc., that's going to be a really, really useful uh, tool for you to have. Um, what we can also do then is jump in and have a look at what the board actually looks like. So here you see you've got a board, um, nothing special here. You've got some dots on the background, give you a bit of reference when you're doing things. You'll see that you've got a percentage here. Uh, you can zoom in up to 400%. And you can zoom out so you've kind of got this really kind of unlimited board that you can utilize um to, to scan around on if you've ever used things like prezi before um you know, the, the kind of presentation tools kind of got a similar feel to that that kind of infinite kind of space that you can utilize um really really nice one thing i would say think about what you're creating um because you've got to kind of think about whether you're going to zoom in and then obviously you can draw in more detail you can zoom back out so you know you might want to start off um far away when you start to draw and then think about you know zooming in and adding more detail etc but again i'm sure people will use this in loads and loads of different different ways just to go through some of the the ui then top left corner options to rename your board duplicate it um hide that grid etc so lots of your kind of um setup tools are located in this space here and then you've got your your main tools in order to start creating no surprises, we can draw on this, those same markup tools that you'll be used to using, should you be using things like uh, notes or if you're using them in Keynote, etc. We've got those drawing tools down the bottom, including your Scribble tool. So if you're using Scribble in order to do that handwriting recognition, that appears on here as well. So you've got that built in, so that's going to give you your instant text. And then again, obviously, if we zoom in, that's going to change the size. So that's that's what I was saying before about thinking about the size that you start with because obviously different things are going to have different um, abilities. Uh, your drawing tools, as standard, everything there that you'll be used to using should you have used them um, in any of the other iPad apps that utilise markup. We then have a nice post-it note tool, really, really nice, simple. Tap on there, double tap to enter your text, add in all your text as you would, including obviously using dictation to add in your text as well, which is another really really useful feature um, you know it adds that accessibility for your students when they're doing things and if I tap again on that post-it note and hold it oops apologies there we go we'll just use this first one um, and then tap on it I've got the choice of colors to change my post-it note to change of the font size etc um, on my post-it note um, or duplicate the post-it note as well as some additional kind of tools in there this one's a really, really nice one in terms of locking it because if you're creating a board that you want your students to use but you don't want them to remove anything, really, really good that you can have that in there. And again, if you've created a style in terms of the colour, the font, etc., you can copy that style onto a different one. So it's all set, ready for you to go. So again, find controls of those things that you want to do. Next one along. Those using uh, Keynote pages, etc., will be familiar with all of the different shapes, etc. They're all here, so you can utilize all of those shapes in order to do anything design-wise, add to uh, content, etc. Everything's in here that you'd be used to using. Again, if you tap on it, move it down. If you tap again, you can change the color of those things, have fill, etc. So all of those kind of uh, bespoke tools that you'll be used to using. Like I said, if you're using these in your creative apps like Keynote and Pages, etc., all there just kind of in a slightly different place. You just tap on the tool itself rather than on a format button. Next one along then is your text box. So again, we can do this through Scribble or we could just add this for a text. And again, tap on it and you can change the size, color, font, etc. on that. And then finally, your media options. So choosing photos or videos from your device, taking photos live using the camera app, you can use this to scan content. So if you've seen any of those other videos I've done around notes and the scan tool, scanning text, picking that up and adding it in. Links directly from the internet 
or insert anything that's on your device from that cloud point of view. So keynote presentations, uh, pages, decks, um, anything you've got in your files and included on other cloud-based solutions as well. Final one to just highlight over here then, new board. So that's your tool to start a new board and this is your tool to share this out. Built right in, collaboration features, which is great. And then your choice of where to share it out to. So your favorite kind of uh, classroom management tools, you can share that directly out to your students, um, including just sort of sharing them the link so that they can join in as well. So there we go. That's kind of a really, really quick overview of what Freeform can do. Here's just an example of something that I created for students to potentially use. So here's some of those kind of, this is what the teacher wants them to do, and then students can use that space all around. Again, if they zoom out, there's kind of unlimited space. You can look around, you could have everybody in the class all collaborating at the same time. And then here's something that a student might create, okay, as a result. So they've got their own space, drawings, links from the internet that they can open, etc. cetera. Um, so everything kind of built on their device including all those links that take them to any content that they might want to use. So there we go. Really, really quick overview of Freeform on iPad. I'm sure teachers are going to go crazy for this and students are going to go crazy for this. I'd love to hear some comments in the comment section below about how you might go about using this with your students.